How are you? It's nice to see you again. Welcome to our program, The Bible Club. My name is Mama Kisumu and I love Jesus. And I'm welcoming you today to come and enjoy with us. I know that uh, you have had a good time seeing the last movie that we saw about the little donkey that nobody could ride. You saw the way the Lord gave it strength. And I know that the Lord has given you strength throughout this, up to this time, that we are able to be with you once again. I want to welcome every new child who, has, who is uh, watching, and I want to say the Lord loves you, and I love you, and welcome to the program. I hope today you have your Bible, your notebook, and you'll be able to listen and tell a friend, tell your parent, tell the neighbor the stories that we have for you today. Yes, now today we want to talk about working. Do you like working? With your hands? Do you like working really, really? Well, we shall know. You know, there are some of us who, when you're told by mommy, today I want you to wash the house, and after you've washed the house, I want you to uh, clean the dishes for me, and uh, while you're, when you're done that, I want you to make your bed. You're like, ah, mom, you nikazimingi, that's a lot of work. No, my hands are so tiny. How will I clean the house? How will I wash the dishes, and I can't even reach up? How will I make my bed? Some of us are like that, yeah? We complain a lot. And when we don't complain, we will still grudge. We'll do it grudgingly. So some of you will be able to do it with your hands. You will be able to do it with your hands. You will be able to do it with your hands. You will be able to do it with your hands. Who is sleeping on that bed? You. But who do you want to make your bed for you? Your mom. Huh? No, 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 no. We have to learn to work, and we have to love to work. Because you know what? If you don't work with your hands, if you don't work yourself, number one, you become lazy. And when you become lazy, you cannot even think. You cannot even breathe properly. You cannot uh, do anything for anybody. And everybody will be like, no, 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 that one we cannot work with her. We cannot work with him because we, we, they just lag us behind. No, we don't want that one. Have you ever seen where when you go to places like uh, camps, when we used to go for camps those days before Corona, huh? there are people who were chosen, you and you and you, you'll be in the kitchen. You will work on the cabbages, you'll work on the onions, you'll work on the tomatoes, you'll work. And there are some people, when they are given that work, do you know what they would do? They would pick up a knife, yes, and then they will walk from one place, one person to the other one. Okay, okay. Ananda to the next person. So the entire time yeye hata kata kitungu hata moja hata kata mboga hata moja hata chonga waru hata moja what will happen they are just walking up and down talking to the people who are working can you imagine if all of them did the same would you eat no the hours that you spend in that camp you would not eat at all why who is who cut the potatoes who cut the tomatoes who cut the onions Nobody. And all of you would be stuck in one place. So time would go. People have not eaten. They get hungry. And you know when you are hungry, what happens? You become an angry person. Why is everybody taking so long? Why is this not done? Why is that not done? And who is that? Now you are the supervisors. They will start making noise. Why was this not done in time? Why was this not done in time? And you know, when you will grow a little bit bigger, and one day you'll get your own job, you are employed, and then you start lagging behind everybody else, the business is going wrong. Why? Because you did not do your part. Do you know what will happen? Your boss will just kick you out. 
and when your boss kicks you out, will you go back home to become again a problem to your parent? So today we want to hear a story about why we should work and why we should work with a lot of laughter and a lot of fun. Because you know, when you work, when, you're, when you decide to do something without supervision, or you decide to tell yourself, eh, leo maze wacha nifagie nyumba yetu. Ato siseme wacha nifagilia maze. Sinikwe nyu, it's your home. Huh? So let me clean this house today. I'm going to make sure that the dishes are washed. I'm going to peel uh, potatoes and I'm going to peel onions and prepare whatever mommy needs so that when she comes, the only thing she will do is to put things in the, in the sufuria and food quicks very, cooks very quickly. That way, mom will not be tired, I will not be tired, and all of us will sleep well and we shall all wake up happy. Some of you, you are big enough, you can do breakfast. But what do you do? You sleep and you hold on and you wait and it, it goes to 8 o'clock and to 9 o'clock. Kwani, what is mommy doing? Even now I can't smell tea, I can't smell coffee, I can't smell this. Kwani, what is mom doing? And you, what are you doing? If mom has not woken up, wake up. Go do something. Why? Because when you tell yourself what to do before you are told, you will enjoy what you're doing. And the same thing, as Christians, we are supposed to wake up and do what we know we are supposed to do. Because then it is right before the Lord. When you as a Christian, you know you are supposed to pray, and then you don't pray. Unataka nani haya kuombe? Huh? And then you are there, oh me, God does not bless me, he never sees me, he does not talk to me, he does not do this to me. But you don't pray, you don't read the word, you don't tell anybody about this. And that is why I encourage you, have your Bible, have a notebook, pencil or pen, and listen. And then you'll be able to tell the child out there who does not have a TV to watch. Hmm? You tell them the story that you have you have had. And that way God blesses you. Alright? So we want you to settle down and listen to this story and after this story, I am going to tell you what I think we should be doing so that we can work. Because the, the Bible says that the hand that does not work, it should not what? Monyo, monyo, eat. Hey, see me, ni mese maivo. Now, before I tell you my story, I want us to read uh, in our, our, our Bible two places. And the two places I want us to read, let us open in uh, Psalms 128 and verse 26. Psalms 128 and verse 2. Are you there? Okay, good. So it says this. Let me start from verse 1. Um, one minute. Mm -hmm. It says this. Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. You will eat the fruit of your labor. Blessings and prosperity will be yours. Did you get that? You will eat the fruit of your labor. Your labor is eh, what you have worked for. You will eat the fruits. And blessings and prosperity will be yours. If you work with your hands, God will bless those hands. He will bless your work. You will be blessed. And you will have. Because ukiendo pante tunyanya tuwako ama tukabiji tuwako ama tunini tuwako. Eh? Those of us who have kitchen gardens, we call them that. Alafu kujo ambia mam, mam badale ya kwenda kununua dania uku. Si uninunulia hizi zangu. When she buys for you, have you earned or you've not earned? So slowly by slowly, unaweza pata pesa ya sadaka, unaweza pata pesa ya tithe. 
All right? Those are other things we shall talk about on, on another day. So, blessings and prosperity will be yours. Now, turn again with me to Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 11. Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 11. And this is what it says. He who works his land will have abundant food. But he who chases fantasies lacks judgment. In another Bible say this, it says this. Whoever works his land will have plenty bread. But he who follows worthless pursuits lacks sense. We all have been given common sense. Now common sense, niile inakwambia, you do this, you do that, without somebody telling you. All right? So, I want us to see uh, in our story today about a locust and an ant. And then at the end of the story, you tell me, between the two, who had common sense and who, uh, who prospered and who had plenty to eat and who, uh, who lacked what? Common sense. All right? Okay. Your hands folded. Give me your ears so that I can tell you. I made myself a small guitar here, it's more like a nyatiti. All right? Those traditional guitars of ours, you don't look at it. In your kambani pasi, very, very nice. Good strings. Eh? But I'll tell you about it. So, there was this locust who had a small, a small guitar. And he walked around everywhere with his small what? His small guitar. And uh, one summer morning, uh, when I say summer, I mean, okay, here in Kenya, we have a rainy day, we have a sunny day, we have a cloudy day, we have, eh? but those uh, summer, winter, those are for those countries eh, in Europe. But now, I want to imagine one time when the sun is uh, bright and nice and there's food in the shamba and plants are green and the grass is green, there was a locust. And this locust used to walk around with his small guitar, like this one of mine. And he would play that guitar. Yeah? He would sit down somewhere and he would play that guitar. And the guitar, although it was tuneless and he could not even sing anything good, he was there still doing what? Playing his what? His guitar. And when he was satisfied of playing the guitar, he would put it down and look for something to eat. Monyo, 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 monyo. Monyo, 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 monyo. When he's full, he would put his hands, he would go and lie somewhere and put his hands at the back and he will sleep. <laughs> do you do that sometimes? Eh, uh eh. -huh. I know sometimes you tafuna, una tafuna ata kitwe nya iko kwa mdomo, na wengine mnalala nya. Huh? So, he would sleep the whole time. He would do nothing else but sleep, play his guitar, and eat. So, one day while he was doing that, there was another little insect. And this insect's name is the ant, the giriri. Huh? We call it ndoti in Kikamba. <laughs> so, the ant was busy. He would go, he would look for food and collect it and carry it on his back. And they, they would make a line. Huh? So many of them. And everybody collected something and put it on his back and they would walk down, 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 down. A hunting way we go. A hunting way we go. 
We'll pick the food and put it on our back and take it back all back home. So they would pick the food and put it on their back and take it all back home. And then they would pass. And while they were working so hard to collect this food, what was the locust doing? And then he would turn the other side. And he would turn this other side. And when he woke up, oh, I'm so hungry. He would look for food he would eat. And then when he was full, he would pick up his what? His guitar. And he would start singing. And you know what? The ant was busy passing with their what? With their food. So one day, the ant heard them walking. Bang, 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 bang. A hunting way we go. A hunting way we go. We'd pick up the food and put it on our backs and take it all the way home. And he was like, huh? Who is that singing? So he followed them. And then he saw them walking. <coughs> and he, was started, he started following behind them. <coughs> A hunting way we go. A hunting way we go. We pick the food and put it on our back and take it all the way home. So he, he took his guitar. And he tried to follow them. The way they were singing, he's also trying to play his. But he's, of course, he's out of tune. And you know what? He, would follow, he followed them until he saw them going down into their, into their house. Their house is down on the ground. And they went inside there. And then he was like, hmm, now where have they gone? And the way they were singing nicely. I should have told them I know how to play my guitar. I follow them. And then while he was talking, he saw another ant that was coming, and it was by itself, carrying a big, big seed. And it was so tired, it sat down, it put the seed down first. <sighs> so he went and asked him, hey, ant, how are you? He said, fine. Come here, talk to you a little bit. He's like, no, you know, I'm busy. You see this? Uh, seed that is here. I still have to pick it. It's just that I got so tired. I need to rest a little bit. And then he laughed. <laughs> Aunt, why are you picking food at this time? You're supposed to be eating food at this time. And he was like, hmm, you, you talk too much. Don't you know that you're supposed to pick, collect food now when the season is this nice and warm and sunny? Because one time it will start raining and after the rains, the drought will come. And then what will you happen? What will happen if you don't have food? Ah, me. Me, I'll just take my little guitar and I'll play and I'll dance. All right. Or can I, uh, let, me, let me just do it for you. Just one minute. And he felt nice playing his and the aunt looked at him and was like, what's wrong with this one? Instead of working you, you are playing your guitar. Help me put this seed on my back, I go. He was like, you do it yourself. You are the one who put it down. He was even so mean. And the aunt went and tried to pick the seed and tried to pick the seed and, oh, please help me. So he came, he helped the aunt and put it on his back. And he told him, huh, okay. You go and uh, keep your seed, and then you come and give your story, and I, we, we sing some more as I play. He told him, Locust, let me tell you, if you don't collect your food today, one day, when the, the sun will go, or the rain will come and go, and the sun comes and all the green goes away, you will miss food. And he was like, ah, me? With my long legs and my big guitar, I cannot. So he said, okay, 
I'm going, me, I'm taking my food inside. He said, okay, let me escort you. And the aunt went and it was like, oh, please, you make so much noise and you don't know how to sing and you don't even know how to play that equipment. What do you mean? And the aunt went and disappeared with its food. And the locust did this every day. Every day he would follow that ant and he would sing for it. And he would tell the ant, come, let us chant, uh, let us chat. I want to tell you a story. Why put that muzigo chin? Yeah, where we come zigo. Unajua, anamambia Mr. Locust, unajua leo tumetumwa. Umeona uko tumeenda kuchukua ngano. Huh? Tumetumwa uko and it's a far place. If I sit down to talk to you, I will not make it on time. And my boss will be angry. Say, what's wrong with you? Even your boss gets tired. They can sit down a little sometimes. He said, no, 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 no. Mr. Locust, no. Me, I have to go. And the locust would be like, okay, bye. And then he would go look for food. He will eat. He will sleep the whole day. And then he'll wake up in the afternoon and pick his tuneless guitar. And he would dance and dance. And the little ant, they worked and worked. Every day, and then one day, shh, the rain came down and the floods went up. The rain came down and the floods went up. The rain came down. It started raining, and it rained and it rained and it rained. And now, the rain carried away all the leaves. It carried away all the fruit. It carried away all the plants. It carried away the water. And soon the rain stopped. And the sun came out again. And the locust was like, see, I told you. It will only go rain for a while. And after that, the sun will come out. Dalon, 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 dalon. And the aunt told him, my friend, I told you, if you remember, that when the rain goes and the sun comes out, the next thing that will happen is what? The drought. So it's not going to be green. The drought is coming. Ah, you go away. You are so small and you work so hard. Sometimes relax, Buana. Relax and play guitar like mine. Dun, 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 and then he realized, actually, today I don't have food. Let me look for food somewhere. So he went looking. And every place he looked, there was not a single leaf. There was not single any grass. There was nothing he could eat. And then the sun shone. Hot, hot, hot sun. And the earth became dry. And it became so dry that even what had remained when the floods took away became what? It became withered and it died. So there is no food for, for Mr. Locusts. But you know what? Something was happening in the camp of the ants. Now there was a lot of singing and dancing inside there. And one time the locusts went and slept. And when he slept, he was like, I know I'm going to die. If I don't get food in the next two days, oh no, I know I'm going to die. This sun is too hot. There was not even a shade where he could cover, he could hide himself. So he went under the roots of that tree, which were also getting dry. And when he was there, he heard from the ground there. Inside there, there was a lot of music. Huh? And people were happy. Ah, people were dancing inside there. And everyone was dancing. And there was a nice aroma coming out from, from that uh, ground and he was like what are these what are the ants up to why are they rejoicing and it's so hot out here why are they so happy and there's nothing to eat and then he went and tapped mr ant 
Mr. Ant. Mr. Ant, can you hear me? And so the ant from inside, he was like, someone is knocking. Who is knocking? And then the ant came. And when it opened, who was there? Yes, Mr. Locusts. He was looking withered and ragged and he was looking like he was going to die. And he was like, please, Mr. Ant, I don't have food. I don't have water. Just give me a little, a little food like this or I'm going to die. Please let me come in. And the aunt told him, I told you, if you don't work to get food, when there is food, when, the, when, the, uh, when it dries up, you will not have any food. And you kept playing your guitar. Where is it now? Oh, like, please, Mr. Aunt, the guitar is here, and I don't even have strength to play. I told him, okay, now what do you want me to do? Please, just a little bit of food, a little water. He said, but it will not be enough for us. And he closed the door. And the locust knew, now I am dead. If Mr. Ant will not give me food, I will die. So he, kept, he took his guitar and he walked away. And you, and you know now he's carrying his guitar, he's just walking. And pulling the guitar along with him. Because he, couldn't, he didn't have strength even to carry it. And then the next day, he saw this is too much. So he just went and fell near the place where the ant's house was. And as the ants were happy taking out the rubbish, you know, for the food that they had eaten, who did they find out there? Hey, you guys, there's somebody here. Someone is sleeping here. So everybody came out. The ants came out to check. Oh my, who is this? And then the ant came. This is the locust. The one who was singing when everybody else was, was busy working and collecting food. So the queen came out. And she was like, oh no, we should help him. I know he was lazy, but let us help him. We shall tell him when he comes back. So they all carried him down inside there. And when they got down there, they told him. They gave him food, they gave him water. And then after two days, he became well again. When he became well, he's, he woke up. Where am I? Where am I? He was told, you're at the aunt's house. If it was not for the queen, you would not, you would not be in, uh, alive. You are dying outside there. You are already dead. He's like, oh, really? What happened to me? Where is my guitar? He was told, here is your thing that makes noise. He said, no, don't call it a thing. It doesn't make noise. It's a guitar. Let me play it for you. Don, 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 don. He was told, no, keep quiet. So he kept quiet. He was like, what happened? He said, you fainted. You almost died of hunger. We picked you because the queen said you come in. And we gave you water and we gave you food. And then he was like, oh my, I should be thankful to the queen. Because if she had not come, then I would be dead for real. So the queen came and told him, okay, now. Next time, when there is food, make sure that you do what? You collect and you work hard so that you and your household can have something to eat. You don't just do nothing, sing silly songs, play funny music, and then you do nothing. That is not using common sense. But when you work and you provide for your home, then... You are doing it, you are doing a good job, and when the season comes, when there's, no, uh, when there's nothing to eat, your family will have food, and you will have food. Do you understand? Yes. Do you understand? Yes. If you had died, you would have become our food. All right? But we are not going to eat you. So we are just going to keep you here for one more week, and then after that, you can go. So he was happy, and they kept him there for one week. And after that one week, it was time for him to go. And then they brought him some grass. They told him, we know outside there there's nothing to eat, but you have to go to your home. Now take this food with you, and when you go, remember what we've told you. 
don't just sit and sleep and do nothing. Work with your hands. Because if you don't work with your hands and you sleep the whole day, you are going to become lazy and laziness brings poverty. Do you understand? He said, yes, I will work, I will work. And so he was given food and his guitar very boring and he got out. And when he got out, the aunt followed him. He told him, Mr. Locust, now do you see why I was telling you we need to work and put food in our, in our, uh, for storage in our homes so that during this season we are able to have something to eat? He said, yes, my friend, now I have seen what you are telling me was very true. And I am willing now to do that. When the season comes, I will also collect food and tell my friends that we collect food so that our families may have something to eat. And then he laughed at him. <laughs> Why are you laughing? He said, that crooked guitar of yours, please, when the season comes, can you get a teacher to teach you how to play it? And of course, to teach you how to sing. You are very, 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 very boring. He said, oh, really? Fine, I've had my food here, my guitar. Can I sing your song? They said, no, no, no. And they ran and got in and they shut the door. That is the end of my story. I want to ask you, between the ant and the locust, who had common sense? Yes, the little ant. Now that little ant, it taught the locust how it's supposed to do what? To work. Children of God. If you don't learn, if you don't teach yourself to work today, when you are grown, you will be, it will be very hard for you to be able to do what? To work. You will find that you are not able to do things, and not because you, did, you would not have known how to do them, but because you did not put an effort. To do what? To learn. When mommy calls you and tells you, come, let me teach you how to cook, don't say, no, you know, cooking is for girls alone. Hey, excuse me. Even boys learn how to cook. Why? Because one day you'll be a grown man and then you'll get a job and maybe your job you'll go all the way to a place like where, let me say, like uh, Northeastern. Huh? And you're, a, and you're a man, but you're not married. Then will you always eat food from the kiosk? And maybe your, your, your money is not enough for you to be eating there all the time. Then what will you do? Will you not eat? You will starve? No. What are you going to do? It will mean then you have to get somebody to come and cook for you. And you know what? Young boys, let me tell you, that is what happens when you start bringing in little girls to come cook for you. And then finally you find yourself marrying the wrong person because you could not cook but she can cook for you and then you get the wrong person who comes in one day with one suitcase tomorrow she comes with one shoe the next day and the next day she's she's your wife but we have not reached there yet i am just telling you this because i need you to learn how to cook whether you're a boy or a girl girls you need to learn how to cook you need to know how to learn how to clean. Because one day you will move out of your mother's house. You will not be there all the time. And when you go to your home and you're married and your husband expects to find a clean home and he comes, he finds that the ducks are in the house, chicken are on the bed, the, the ones who for here for Ugali for yesterday is at the door. I mean, will he be a happy man? No. But all these things we have to learn so that when you know what to do, you are able to teach another, uh, your child or another person how to do these things. And then, in our Christian world today, we need to learn to work, working for the Lord. How? As a Christian, you preach the word to people. You have to learn your Bible. So that when you talk to the children or you talk to, to, to young adults or to, to, to your preaching to people, you know the word. And this word is what will help you 
to bring souls into the kingdom of God. And when you don't work towards bringing souls into the kingdom of God, that child who you play with outside there, who does not know about Jesus, if today they die, they will go to hell. And then, when they will be asked, one day you will be asked before the Lord, I gave you a friend. Mwanya mulikuwa mnacheza football na ya hapo nje. Mbona huku mwambie about me? You, you knew about me. Why didn't you tell my, your friend about me? What will you tell Jesus that day? So that is why it is important for you to tell other children the word of God. When you are doing that, you are working. When you are telling another child about the importance of receiving Jesus as a personal savior, you are working for the Lord. And when you work for the Lord that way, do you do, uh, tell me when you have many other children who have come to know the Lord because of you, through you, are you not happy? Are you not glad that you did this for Jesus? Then imagine the gifts that you're going to receive from the Lord. The blessings that come with telling other people about the Lord. The joys that you receive when you see other children coming to Jesus. The joy of knowing that you snatched somebody from hell to bring them to heaven. Don't you think that is all something very nice? That is why we need to work to tell people about Jesus. We need to work to tell people about the kingdom of God. And you know Jesus is coming very soon. When he comes, what do you expect? What do you want him to expect from you? So, are we going to work? Are we going to tell others about Jesus? Are we going to 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 be like those little ants going out there to work so hard? and bringing home something good. When you go out there, you tell somebody about Jesus, and that person gets saved, and you come back home to the Lord. What have you brought? One soul. And in heaven, they celebrate you. They celebrate that one soul. Let me tell you, children, let us not just sit and watch television and play with phones and uh, play playstations on the TV and do nothing about our lives as we are growing. Today, technology is good, but technology can also be very bad. It can make you sit down and become a fat, lazy person who does nothing and knows nothing about Jesus. If you don't go through it, all right? We, we teach ourselves uh, how to make things and how to do things through the technology. When we are speaking as we are speaking, you and me, we are using TV, which is also technology. But can we use it wisely? Can we do it to the glory of the Lord? Can you do something today that will make Jesus happy? Yes. Tell somebody about the story of the grasshopper and the, and the ant. Who was lazy? The grasshopper. And who was active? The ant. Who got food when everybody else did not have? The ant. And who almost died? The grasshopper. Ask yourself, are you a grasshopper or are you an ant? And whose side would you like to be? The ant or the grasshopper? If you know you are a grasshopper, can you wake up and start doing something and stop playing instruments that have, have no tune in them? All right? Stop running around people when you are supposed to be working. All right? You know, you know you're supposed to wake up and pray. But instead, you wake up and start banging doors and calling everybody else. Hey, you, me, I want breakfast. If auntie is there, those of us who have aunties who work for us, hmm? our house helps. And you're like, ah, Rose, kwa ni chai chaiva, ulikuna fanya nini, kutoka yo sayote, ah, Rose, na wewe, eh. Hey. Teach yourself to make tea again uh, together with Rose. Even ask Rose to help you to learn how to do it. All right? And parents, I am talking to you. Don't let your children just sit. Even when there are people to work for them, 
let your child do something. Teach them to do something. There is a, there is a, um, a group that I had in a school that I, I taught. And I used to tell them when they go for their holidays, learn how to make a sandwich. So that when mommy and dad are not around and auntie is not there, you will not sit there until the next day or the next saying, oh no, now everybody has gone, I can't even eat. Teach them how to make a sandwich. And that way, the bigger one will be able to make for the smaller ones. And they will, you'll find they have done something. Let them make their beds. Let them sweep. Let them dig outside there. We did some of these things and we still grew up and, became, uh, and have become people in this society that have progressed. Let them work. They will not die. You are not killing them and they will not die. The hand that does not work, it should not what? should not eat. All right? So, from my guitar, I have a memory verse on the other side of my guitar, which I would like to share with you today. And this is what it says. In Proverbs 14 and verse 23, it says this. All hard work begin, uh, brings a profit, but mere talk leads only to poverty. Can you say that again? All hard work brings a profit, but mere talk leads only to poverty. Proverbs 14 and verse 23. Don't be just a talking person. Talk and do. All right? Because when you do, when you do work, you will do what? you will bring a profit. But if you just talk and do nothing, then you're inviting poverty. All right? So children of God, I hope today we have learned something. Please let us be workers and little workers for Christ, working around our homes, working outside of our homes, and working for Jesus. Don't forget that, because that is the greatest of all the works that you can do. When you are able to work for Jesus, to bring another child, another soul to the Lord, then you will become a blessing, and God will bless you. Thank you for listening to me, and I hope that you will be able to make, this is just a small nyatiti guitar that I made, out of twigs and strings. Before you make one, eh? and then you just connect them, right and on one side you put your memory verse and on the other side it is there it has no tune because the locust used to play a guitar that was tuneless but i know yours you'll be able to sing with it and you'll be able to sing so god bless you and until next time goodbye i love you we will go, we will be